Hola, my name is Aida Lugo McAllister, author of Aida's Kitchen a lo Boricua, a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook. I am going to demonstrate how to transplant the ajillas dulces that grew indoor from January of this year to June. Normally, I transplant the ajilla dulces plant during the Memorial Day weekend, which is in May, the end of May. But because we had such a harsh winter all the way through April, it even snowed the whole month of April, the, ajilla, the indoor ajilla dulces plant did not grow tall enough. So I had to keep them inside for another month, this is the end of June, to allow them to grow taller. So I have here an ahi dulces plant that it's ready to be transplanted to my garden. Now I want to explain how I prepare the soil of my garden. And what I did is I removed all the weeds and after I pulled all the weeds, I used a rotor tiller and I roller tilled my garden. What it does, it takes the bottom dirt and it turns it over. After I did that, then I took a bag of peat moss and I spread it on top of the dirt and what peat moth does it allows the garden to hold water to retain water then the next thing I did is I used some bags of composted cow manure that serves as a fertilizer and I placed that on top of the peat moss then I took my roller tiller again I rotor till the dirt and what it does it combined the peat moss with the cow manure now let's transplant the ahiadurs that plant that grew indoors the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dig a hole at least four inches deep and five inches wide. Since the pea pot, uh, it, it decomposes, you use, you place the whole pot and, let me dig this a little bit more, there. Um, you put the whole pea pot and then what you do with the dirt that I removed uh, from for digging the hole, I covered the pea pot completely. Just like this. Go to my next one, and the reason why I'm showing you another one is that in order for you to transplant the other pea pot into the garden, you need at least 24 inches, one ahiadusa plant from the other. Why? Because these plants, they grow at least four feet tall and three feet wide. So, again, and I, I use my spade to dig the hole. cover it and the next thing that I do is I water the plants on a daily basis because they need to get adjusted from the indoor environment to the outdoor environment so I do that on a daily basis then I do it on a as needed basis Please watch my YouTube video part one on how I demonstrate how to plant the ahias dulce seeds in the pea pots to grow indoors. This is the YouTube video part two. Once the Ahiodorsis plant grew at least six inches tall, then it's time to put them in my garden. 
I hope you have enjoyed watching my YouTube video on how to transplant my indoor Ahia Dursas to my garden. Thank you for watching Ida's Kitchen YouTube videos. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. To purchase a copy of my cookbook, visit idaskitchenboricua.com or see the links below.